All right, YouTube, I am super, super excited for this trial. If you if you know my channel and you're familiar with what I do, I trial a brand, a skincare brand for two weeks, report back, give you guys a before and after of my face. And this time I'm doing Dr. Pericone. So I do have the Pericone MD, rather. Uh, so I have the pre -imp series set that I got as a beauty insider. This was like a 500 point perk. This was a pretty awesome find. Uh, so this has their daily foaming cleanser, skin perfecting serum, oil free hydrating cream, and then the brightening eye cream. So I'm excited to try all that. I picked this because I need a hydrating serum at this point. I've been doing a lot of um, significantly more drying serums and I want one more hydrating. This is an antioxidant one. So I'll report back on these, but this is where it gets really interesting. I actually bought these quite a while ago and have been using all of these products, items, for several months. And now I'm ready to buckle down into the science behind them, really give you guys a thorough review. It's the Pericone MD supplements. Uh, so if you're familiar with me, you know I have a master's in nutrition. This is not something I can play around with. For me, doing the skincare reviews is fun. This is serious business. It's serious business. So I'm going to give you guys a very thorough analysis of these. This is the Skin and Total Body Supplements, these are really, really neat. These are packaged individually, so it's really easy to... Oh, sorry about my lighting. Uh, these are really easy to add to your lifestyle. And then I also have the Super Greens. These are little packets that you can add to water and mix or add to a smoothie. I usually add to a smoothie. I also have the Digestion Booster. A lot more detail as to why in the second part of this video. And then last but not least, the Omega-3 Dietary Supplements. I'll have all my thoughts on all of this stuff coming up in this video, so stay tuned. I had to go back to my old setup to film part two of this, so this will actually be the last video ever recorded on this wonky setup. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be giving you part two of my Pericone MD trial. I have got to start by telling you guys a really, really funny at least to me, story. So, I got the skincare from this brand as a 500 point perk to Sephora, and to be completely honest with you guys, that was my first ever introduction to this brand. I had no idea that Paracone MD existed prior to this. I thought, oh, this must be new to Sephora, they're trying to promote them. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Apparently, Dr. Paracone has existed in the world of skincare for quite some time, in fact had a very big moment in the early 2000s when he released a book called The Wrinkle Solution. I just looked at my notes, it was called The Wrinkle Cure, and that was in the early 2000s, back when I was just too young to be looking up anti-aging skincare products. Isn't perception just so completely fascinating? And on that note, I just want to say, if he came up with The Wrinkle Cure, Somebody please show me one anti-aging specialist over the age of 50 who looks like they're in their 20s, because I'm just not convinced. I think that if we really make a breakthrough and we're able to completely cure, cure wrinkles, um, I think we would know about it. Now, all that said, I'm going to go over the skincare product by product, and I'm also going to tell you I will probably never repurchase any of these items. I'm going to start by going over the skincare first, and then I will give my thoughts on the supplements afterward. So let me start with the skincare. I did use these products for two weeks, and I have to say I'm overall happy with my skin. Um, I'm finally no longer breaking out, although I do have scarring still, which is to be expected. Scarring is something that even with great products you cannot fix overnight. Uh, so I'm this side I've been treating, this side I'm finally able to start because I finally did experience my acne clearing up within these past two weeks. And I have to say I am impressed with that because none of these products targeted clearing up acne and yet I was able to. So as you know, I did test out the pre -imp series and actually I think uh, before, I need to, before I get into these, I do need to tell you guys the ingredient that is in every one of these and I think in everything from this line it seems to be the Paracone claim to fame, and it is an ingredient called DMAE. Now, if you're not familiar with DMAE, basically what it does is it has a vascular effect on the cell tissues, which means that they swell up. Which means if you do have something like fine lines or even wrinkles, 
The immediate effects of DMAE, at least in theory, should be that you will have swelling up of those cells, which will reduce the visual effects of the fine lines wrinkles. I actually find it very interesting that this is such an important ingredient to Dr. Paracone because it turns out that it actually has a fair bit of controversy associated with it. In order to explain DMAE, I'm going to compare it in its effects to a laser treatment. Now, a laser treatment is a very um, often utilized form of treatment for wrinkles and fine lines. And basically what you do by going to a specialist that will use a laser on you is you, in the same way as a laser can actually burn your skin, uh, a medical laser will do the same thing and create micro tears. Now the point of the micro tears is that the skin will react and send collagen production to those areas. Think of it kind of like creating minor scar tissue. The effect of putting that collagen there, which remember that collagen is something that you lose as you age, is that you kind of fill in those gaps in the skin with this scar tissue, if you will, and uh, the end result is that you will have less pronounced fine lines and wrinkles. The reason that DMAE is controversial is because it kind of works in the same mechanism. The concern with using DMAE is that it may be associated with fibroblast death, which means you're getting that same signaling wherever you apply this, in theory, uh, to send in collagen production, send in some scar tissue, we're having some issues here, send in the workers. Now we all want more collagen and elastin production, but the way in which you get it is something that you really want to be cognizant of. In fact, a lot of doctors say that they are, and I quote this, reluctant to recommend this as a form of treatment simply because there's just not enough research around it. One thing that I found particularly interesting when I was doing this research is I, I discovered that Quackwatch had called out Dr. Paracone's The Wrinkle Cure book. And in fact, um, one of the arguments that was presented within it is that we need to treat chemicals more as drugs in order to have better regulation of them. I've got to say I really, really agree with that. I think that we, I, you all know I've been doing my research on chemicals in skincare. This is really something that we should be doing and we just don't. Right now, products are released on the cosmetics market without, without any type of long-term study. The best that you get is an idea that it's okay to use the products for, you know, a month, two months. That's it. Nobody's doing 20-year studies on products because really there's, there's no need to. Nobody's saying they have to. Um, we, we no longer employ animal testing, which that's a good thing, but at the same time, the reason why we did animal testing way back is because it gave us an indication into what the long-term effects might be. When we used a small animal that has a, a shorter lifespan than a human, we would extrapolate from their experience with these drugs. I'm not saying it was positive, I'm just saying this is what happened. Um, we would extrapolate what might happen to humans. And of course, this is flawed in so many ways because it turns out we're not rats. Um, but that was how this used to occur, and now we, we don't do any of this, we, we simply do short-term studies. Because of all of this, what I've taken from the use of DMAE myself over the past two weeks is that I did not experience any negative effects, and I shouldn't have because I'm within the type of time frame in which these studies would have occurred. I just want to add in one other thing that I did happen to note from the site Beautypedia. Uh, I did not do too much more digging into this, but I do, I, I want to just bring it to your attention. Uh, apparently, Dr. Paracone, according to Beautypedia, Dr. Paracone's only actual published studies um, have been on glycolic acid, which is already well studied and well documented, and we do know that it has positive effects when you use it. Um, and only two of those were apparently original research, which means I am personally tied with Dr. Paracone for original research. That kind of scares me. One more comment on DMAE that I'm leaving this behind and we'll just know going forward that it's in all the skincare as well as some of the supplements. Uh, so you may not have anything to worry about if you're, if you're scared of the thought of damaging your skin. You may not have to worry about it and here's why. DMAE turns out to be active at a pH of 10. Our skin typically sits at a pH of around 5.5. It's most likely 
that even use of these DMAE products, controversial or not, isn't actually able to be activated on our skin. Now, I don't want to tell you what to think of DMAE. Take all of that as you will take it all together. Um, it basically means that this is either a product that does combat wrinkles, it's a product that needs to be used carefully or cautiously, or it's a product that does absolutely nothing. And I don't know which. All I know is that for me personally, after using these for two weeks, I think everything was okay, but I personally, I don't want to take any risks. All right, let's just dig into the products. I just itched my nose, so it may look red for a little bit. Uh, so first off, I used the Daily Foaming Cleanser. This product retails for $38 for 5.1 ounces. Pretty typical price for a cleanser. I can't say it was remarkable. I can't say it was bad. I did find it to be a little on the drying side, as did most of the reviews that I read of this product. It's okay, I just can't see any particular reason to add this into my routine. And if any DMAE containing product is likely to be more on this alkaline side of things, it probably is this product, but you wash it right back off, so. Okay, next up we have the Preempt Serum, which is $90 for an ounce. <clears throat> I'm a little flustered by the fact that the dropper on this broke. This is supposed to be a high-end product, product, and while it was indeed part of a 500-point perk, I don't feel like this makes me think highly of this packaging slash product. However, I will tell you that in the 10 or so days I had this product before it broke and I was not able to finish using this, um, I thought it was okay. I did notice that it has fragrance in it as well as vitamin C, so that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> It is the uh, tetrahexyl decil ascorbate form of vitamin C, which is the more stable form. And it does sink into your skin really quite rapidly. That is occasionally a claim of DMAE, which maybe that is me actually getting to see it working. I felt like it worked on my skin, but again, as with everything, I won't be repurchasing this one. Both because I'm trying to be a little bit cautious, and because I don't want bottles to break on me. The oil-free hydrating cream apparently won an award with Allure. Uh, it's $75 for two ounces, which is also pretty average for high-end products. Uh, it's shea butter, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. Um, uh, uh, this is made with something called sclerotum gum, which is a fungal thickening agent. That's what gives this its texture without using any oil. Um, gums are often controversial. I would say they're usually more innocuous, but just so you know what it is that's giving the thickening to this, that's something unique. I don't think I've ever seen that particular gum used in a moisturizer. I just, I'll tell you why I didn't like this. I didn't like this because for me it balled up under makeup, which makes it completely useless. It was, however, hydrating even for me as a dry skin person. But don't fear oil, oil's not a bad thing. And last up is the Preempt Brightening Eye Cream. Now, Beautypedia actually gave this a four star uh, rating. I don't think I do. <laughs> it, it's $65 for a half ounce, which is ex exorbitant, but typical for an eye cream. Uh, it contains caffeine, vitamin C, shea butter, antioxidants in the form of turmeric. Um, but some people found this drying, which I find especially interesting. The skin around your eyes is the thinnest. Perhaps this is where you're most likely to feel the effects of DMAE. No, I can't say I found it drying. I thought it was just like every other eye cream I found. Um, but some people did have that. This does not have the highest rating on Sephora or any other site I read reviews on. I'm surprised how many people did not like this. Um, but if there is some kind of... Uh, damage going on to the skin with the use of DMAE, I'm gonna have to say I would least recommend an eye product, no matter how well formulated it is, if it has a potentially dangerous ingredient. All right, let's talk about these supplements. I'm gonna start with the skin and total body supplements. And first off, let me tell you guys, uh, oh, I forgot how bad my lighting is with this setup. Uh, so with these supplements, first off, this is a $155. 
for 60 packets that are supposed to last you for 30 days. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, that's expensive. I'm gonna tell you guys my story with these supplements. I started taking these mid-June. Uh, so I've been on and off for about two months with these supplements. And what I gotta tell you is this is a very convenient, convenient system. It's the kind of system where if you are not prone to remembering to open all of your little bottles, you might like this. This would be really good for somebody who is constantly on the go. In particular, what I imagine in my head is somebody who has a very busy business lifestyle and can afford this first off, uh, but is often just too busy to think about supplements. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, I can't say I don't recommend it. I think that these, I noticed an immediate increase in energy when I started taking them. It kind of tapered off. I have definitely noticed my nails have grown. Absolutely, there is no question about that. Uh, and that's probably because what you do get in this is you get two antioxidants. Basically, the green pills in here are your multivitamins. You get an omega-3, which is wild Alaskan salmon oil. Uh, Dermaglo, which is that DMAE. Rejuvenate, which is coenzyme Q10, vitamin E, uh, skin and joint, vitamin E, calcium magnesium, which is your calcium, and astaxanthin, which is algae, which helps with joints. It's, it's a good daily system. I'm gonna say what everybody else said in the reviews, and this has high, high, high rated reviews. It seems a lot of people have figured out that you actually only need one packet of this per day. You guys are right. The way that supplements work is that your body cannot absorb past a certain amount of supplements. Um, and basically, the, the vast majority of your vitamins and minerals should come from your diet. Ideally, you're getting close to everything you need, if not everything you need. You'd probably have to consume a lot, a lot of fruits and vegetables in order to consume all your vitamins and minerals. Um, and if you feel that you're a little short, it's good to add in something like this. But the truth of it is, most people won't need the two packets a day. And again, I think that if you are... <laughs> I think that if you are making enough money to be able to afford $155 supplements, you probably don't have the standard American diet. That's my hypothesis. It's something I kind of hate to say, but it tends to be true. We do tend to observe a, um, a better diet in people who make more money. What I'll say is this, I think that for most people who would consider purchasing this, um, a one packet a day is probably, is probably more than enough. You will probably observe an effect at one packet a day. I've never taken two packets a day of this and I've still seen quite honestly impressive effects. So what I, what I will say about this product is if you are looking for quick and easy supplements and you can afford them, I think this is a good option. I think it should last you 60 days as opposed to 30 days. The, the, the thing, think of it like this, the 60 day recommendation, uh, excuse me, the 30 day recommendation is basically intended for people who are not getting any of their vitamins and minerals. If, you're, if you eat a salad a day, if you go to Smoothie King from time to time, one of these a day is probably enough. Next up, let's talk about the Super Greens. This retails for $80 for 30 packets. Uh, these are pretty good. These contain spirulina, MSM, antioxidants, acidophilus, and what these are is you get little packets, and it's really easy to mix this into a glass of water, significantly easier, in fact, than most green powders that I've tried. Uh, I typically do not mix green powders with water. I like to throw them into a smoothie. And I'm gonna say something about that. If you are that type of person, you do not need to purchase this. Um, there's definitely products on the market that very much compare that you can walk into Whole Foods and get for around $30 for 30 instead of 80. Now that said, if you're the kind of person who just wants to get your greens in real quickly in the morning, you wanna throw it into a cup of water, then you actually might wanna consider this. Remember that this is a high-end product and much in the same way that if you purchase a a facial powder and it's from a high-end product it's going to be more finely milled that's what I felt from this it was more finely milled by far than most of the $30 supplements that I found at Whole Foods for me I don't need this type of a product 
again, if you're really on the go and you just really want to get some greens in, this is well formulated and it's very finely milled. This is like the only product from this line where I can really say I understand why this particular price tag is so high. Next up, I have the Omega-3 supplements. This is $42 for a 30-day supply, which you get 90 of these in here. Um, I think that most people can benefit from this. The average person does not consume enough omega-3s. Personally, I happen to live in New Orleans and eat a very large amount of seafood. Uh, in particular, I love salmon, and that's what this is, Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil. I have been taking one of these a day. I can't really say I've noticed any effects, but I do know that this is something that is pretty proven to have good uh, benefits for your health. Can't say I'm going to buy it again. I can't say that. I've definitely purchased these for less. I don't really see a particular difference. I don't know if these wild Alaskan salmon oil were uh, treated with the utmost of care. It's just something that I don't know, but I don't see any proof of that. So for me, I'm probably not going to buy this again. Last but not least, actually least, uh, I have the <laughs> Digestion Booster. Now this is $55 for a 30-day supply in which you get 60 of these. I have real mixed feelings on this product, and in order for me to give you background on that, I gotta tell you that my research, when I was getting my master's in nutrition, was on probiotics. Now the claim on this product is for a healthier gut and a flatter stomach, and yes, that is, that is a claim of probiotics, but I will tell you guys that when I first started these, I had noticed I had not been taking any kind of probiotics or enzymes. And I had noticed I was dealing with minor bloating, nothing serious, just minor. I very quickly saw positive effects with taking this, and I have not had any kind of bloating since. It's been months without, without any bloating, which is amazing. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, this contains licorice and enzymes, which do, the enzymes do have immediate effects. And then it contains the probiotic bacillus coagulans. Now, this one's tricky. I understand why that is the particular strain that was chosen in some ways, uh, since what these particular guys do is to form endospheres under stress, which means that they are a lot more tough. These guys will last and get to your gut and be able to make changes uh, with a higher percentage than a lot of other probiotic options that you could throw into a product like this. My issue with this product is that as somebody who has extensively studied probiotics, I am well aware of the connection between the gut and the body. I think that sometimes when you are positively benefiting one aspect of your body, you may, may or may not be aware that you may be actually causing strain on another aspect of your body. And so for me, what I happen to notice is I had that immediate benefit I also had the worst acne breakout that I think I've ever had in my life. I don't want to be negatively influencing you, but there is some kind of an association with probiotics and acne. And we're not 100% we're not sure of it because for some people, probiotics really help to get rid of acne. I can't conclusively say that it caused acne for me, but I can tell you that as somebody who experienced a correlation, I'm done with those. I don't want to risk it again. <laughs> I, all of the other supplements worked for me. I'm not going to take any risks. I don't know what type of colony these guys were forming in my gut, how it was leaking up to my face, or if it even was, and I really want to emphasize that I have no proof. I just know that there was a strong correlation, and I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to take any risks. I'm done with acne. That was awful. Uh, and I do want to add in one other thing to this video, and that is I just told you hundreds of dollars worth of products. I did not pay that. I used the Guilt City promo combined with, I think it was, what was this, the Memorial Day sale? It was way back. I think it was Memorial Day. Um, so I was able to pay, I want to say around $90 for everything. What this means to me is that that is most likely telling you that these products are probably around that price, which is very comparable to what you'd get at GNC or Vitamin World. 
Um, which ultimately leads me to my conclusion that these probably are the same thing. Just coincidentally, you can get these at Sephora and you're not going to find GNC products at Sephora. Now, I personally plan to finish off all of these vitamins. I enjoy them. I am impressed with the nail growth. What do you guys do with nails once you have them? This is so, this is so unusual for me. I'm going to really quickly attempt to explain something that is a, a, a really long and detailed thought process. I'm going to try to shorten this. So I mentioned that I think these supplements helped me to grow out my nails as well my hair. My hair has grown out quickly. Please ignore how rough it looks. You're going to find out. You're going to find out in about a week what I've been doing with it. Um, if you at all have a similar body type to me, meaning that you may, as I do, try to eat very healthy. My diet's pretty good. Um, but I still... I do not believe that I absorb as many vitamins and nutrients from my food as people that often have a different phenotype, if you will. Um, we One thing that we studied in my program was the effect of the gut to absorb nutrients. And it seems that there are, are certain body types that absorb better than others. I, I, I don't really know how to put this into words any better, um, but like you can look at me and you can see that, you may be able to see that I kind of have bright eyes, but I still look a little bit more sickly, honestly, than somebody that has the exact same diet as I do, but a different body type. I just, I eat, somebody asked me to do a what I eat in a day, it's at least 2,000 calories every day, and for me to weigh 110 pounds is a darn miracle. Uh, it's just, you know, we, we, we know for a fact that people have different absorption rates, not just of micronutrients, which is what I'm focusing on, but of macro macronutrients as well, meaning one person may eat 100 calories of food and absorb 100 calories, and one person may eat 100 calories and absorb 70 calories. There's really, there's such an interesting world of research that I hope to get into, but as you know, I'm not working in my field right now. Um, that's really complicated. That could get a video of its own. But yeah, basically my point is, if you share a similar phenotype to me, meaning you do try to eat well and yet you notice that your nails break off and you just, you, you, you don't understand why you don't look more active and alert, you may be the perfect person to benefit from supplements. If, on the other hand, you eat a very balanced diet and you happen to already have very thick hair and very thick nails, and you may on a technicality have a higher BMI. Don't ever let anybody tell you that that is a negative thing. It's just a, it's just different body types. And you actually, I would argue as somebody in this field, I would make the very controversial argument that I believe you may be healthier than I am just because of your absorption. So to sum it all up, I think that the supplements that you can get at Sephora are the same as what you get elsewhere, except in a more convenient form uh, and in a finer powder in terms of the green supplement. So to wrap up all of my thoughts on this brand, I probably won't repurchase the skincare again. However, I really did enjoy the convenience aspect of the supplements. And if I felt that I had the money to splurge on them, and really did not have the time to open seven different bottles of vitamins, I would buy them again. However, I think for the average person, probably if you are not making enough money to justify paying, you know, $120 more for that convenience to be done for you, uh, then it's not necessary. It just happens to be nice. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and did find it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like. Make sure you hit subscribe, and peace out, guys.